I see Yolanda. Uh, let's see, who else do we have here? Carrie, Lindsay, M. Shelton, Phil Fowler, Chris, Capri. Good. I'm going to close up that. I'm going to move it over. So, all right. Uh, let me, why don't you go ahead and hit the record button. Let me know when it's rolling. You're good to go. Okay, well, hello, Home Express. This is David Knox. I, uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to Real Estate Training by DavidKnox.com, and I hope all of you who work for the company be sure to thank Chris for signing you up. Um, not a lot of companies are investing in their agents in the way of training. It's an added expense. Hopefully, it will be a value added. So, um, be sure you thank you for doing that. Because <clears throat> seriously, uh, I can't tell you how many thousands of brokers just go, "Oh, we don't have it in the budget." You know, they don't want to invest in their agents. So, when you have the opportunity to gain this. Uh, be grateful for it. So how do you pay him back for doing that? Um, he could charge you for it or actually the best way for you to pay Chris back and yourself back is to use it and decide to, to get in there and watch the videos. They're, they range from 8 to 12 minutes long. We do have a couple in there that are 22 and those are the ones you want to sit down and do some serious training with. But the beauty of this training is we have a faculty of about 80 people in there or more. We have top agents industry experts, other speakers, um, and one of the things that makes our training so unique and so different from any training you'll get anywhere else literally in the world is that we go on location and we videotape real agents on actual transactions. Uh, we just uh, yesterday got FedEx to us a hard drive a video that was taken at a $15 million estate down in kind of in your neck of the woods, uh, Century Cedar, I forgot the name of the estate. Um, there's a $15 million home near Clearwater, and we have video interview of the two ladies who listed it and are managing it. We have video of the event that they use to promote it. I mean, you just can't get that kind of stuff. That's really, really hard to get, so you have access to that. Um, another speaker named Burl Workman, uh, a top presenter in the United States, a buddy of mine, and he said, hey, I'd be glad to do some videos for you. So you get access to a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is go to the site. First of all, can you see the interface? It should have the Home Express Realty logo in the left, blue green. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Then these, when you log in, this is actually uh, logged in as Chris. These are the news items, and um, so I'm going to close out of that. And by the way, uh, we also have a mobile app. I'm not sure how big your uh, uh, your video screen is on mine. It's not very big. Uh, oops, I'm going to do my best to show this to you um, if I don't break it first. Uh, so, so you can get the app. R-E-T is the big letter on. In fact, we have two apps. One is Knox Training and one is Knox Videos. The one that's Knox Videos, those are our online consumer videos, pricing your home to sell, preparing your home to sell. That's something that agents invest in. 20 bucks a month, you can subscribe to that. And then when you click on the R-E-T app, what will happen is you'll see the video, you know, what's new for the current month, and then down below you'll see all the videos. So these are videos you can play. You can play while you're in front of a listing presentation or you can listen to while you're walking the dog or walking on the beach and, and get some injection that way. So we have both the Apple or the Android and you can get into those. The, the top video at any given time is our what's new for the current month and one of the downloadable materials over under support is the user guide and for those of you who are new to that I recommend you download that and as you scroll through it you'll see how to pick and watch videos how to get the app we have to update this now that the Android is working and you'll see how to find videos how to find presenters topics and down at the bottom is an overview of all the different topics we cover and we cover everything it is you know, from the beginning of how to get into the business, from this is a football to how to close and negoti negotiate. Another thing you may want to consider in, is downloading is our topics by curriculum, probably in PDF would be the way to do it. And you have that be your TV guy and just print it out and keep it with you. And, you know, you're looking for something, you're looking for video, you're having a challenge with uh, goal setting, motivation, you know, how to build a team, different parts of prospecting. You can scroll through and see we have 376 videos. 43 of them are for managers, but 
but the 330 or so are for you guys. So we have live seminars if you kind of enjoy those. We have actual agents on transactions down in your area. Um, we have a whole series on luxury real estate, so you can tune into that. Um, and let me just close out of this. In fact, I'm curious, how many of you have already logged in? I want to see where I am here with you guys. Raise your hand. If, oh, good. How, well, let me ask you this. How do you like it so far? I got halfway into one. I've been so busy at signing into some new things, David. I just came on board not too long ago. Well, see, that's what happens. All you have to do is watch a video, and you'll make money. There you go. I like them, though. I really do. Um, sorry, I accidentally closed the window. Um, yeah, and by the way, we have videos for i got to close out of these news items that keep popping up. Uh, down here in the lower left curriculum, we have by experience, new agents, rising stars, and top producers. So for new agents, um, as you might expect, we pretty much start with the basics. Uh, we have a video on, excuse me, agent safety. Uh, that was triggered by the tragic loss of one of our fellow realtors in Arkansas. And if you're new to the business, um, you know, here are two ladies. You know, these two ladies, I don't know, they sell $300 million a year between them and their team. And I asked him, I said, you know, if you could go back and start over again, or if you were to give a new agent advice, what would you have them do? And uh, look at the comments we get on these. Just all oh, high ratings, good advice, great advice. And then, by the way, when you watch videos, um, type in a comment. You know, you can, all you have to do is go right down here in the comment area, type it in. You can rate it, because I read those every morning. By the way, I want to draw your attention to some um, old video. <laughs> uh, I was a lot younger then. I was 20 years ago. We did a video called the Mentor Series, and you'll see down here 83 comments. This is, by the way, the most basic, fundamental, oldest video in here is also the most watched, most loved video. So I just want you to know, we know it's old. Uh, my hair was a different color. Cell phones have antennas on them. And there's a lot of people go, oh, gosh, that video is way too old. What can I get from that? I promise you, if you listen to the audio only, you would think it was recorded last week. Uh, when you look at it, you can tell the, the age of it, but I take a look at the comments, 83 of them, it still gets five-star ratings, um, you know, people really enjoy it. So we kind of put the mentor series in, in for new agents, because sometimes new agents are less likely to care, they just want to learn. Experience days ago, I want something new. So, for top producers, we have what's called Real Estate Live. And these are videos where we go on the field and, and videotape real agents on actual transactions. We talk to their team members. Um, Bob Wolf, here's a guy. By the way, for those who've been, if you just want to hear some of the best techniques in the business, go to Bob Wolf. He's one of the top realtors in America. His gross commission income is higher than the annual sales of most agents. He earns three million a year commission. <laughs> a lot of agents struggling to sell three million in real estate. So if you go to presenters, featured agents, here are all the agents we feature, but you can scroll down to Bob Wolf and you click on him and you'll see all the videos in which he is featured. And RL08, Real Estate Live number eight, is um, probably one of the most popular videos in here because Bob just says, hey, here's how I sell $100 million of real estate a year and 95% of what he does, anybody could do. And by the way, all these arcane letters and numbers we use, if you click on the series menu, you can see. And the, it's pretty obvious. MS, Metro Series, RL, Real Estate Live, KFT, Knox First Tuesday, LS, Live Seminar, and QTS Quick Tip. And in fact, it's interesting. As we develop this, these videos, a lot of people say, oh, you know, I don't have time to watch. You should do some shorter. And I said, seriously? You know, people who don't make even as much money as you, nurses, doctors, they spend four years in college, four years medical school, two years of residency, thousands of hours of training, and we can't get a realtor to watch six minutes? Are you joking me? Seriously? <laughs> it drives me crazy. I don't have time. I, I get so tired of hearing that. So I did a series. If you click on Browse All Videos and you go to Series Quick Tip, you will see the quick tips that we put together. And the first one we did was six minutes long, and I guess that was a mistake, because the first comment I got was, really good stuff. Quick tips may be more effective if the message is shorter. Oh, <laughs> I just, I'm sorry to be frustrated. So we now have some that are zero minutes. I have one that's one minute. In fact, QT15, uh, that one minute video, if you just click on that and watch Ellen Hill, from Atlanta, Georgia, talk about how she works her sphere of influence. Uh, 
just watch that. I guarantee you, you'll double the amount of referrals you get just from a one minute, 35 second video. Listen to what Ellen says. It is great. Um, another place we have uh, resource downloads. And if you click on here, you'll see things you can use out in the field. Interest rate history, checklists, worksheets, telephone questions, dialogues, all kinds of stuff. Um, you've got people that have too much junk in their house and they just don't know what to do with it. There's a work worksheet on here's how to donate stuff. Um, I got this when I was moving. I said, my house is full of stuff. What do I do with it? So we put some websites in there of how you can donate your stuff. We even have... Uh, a thing on bin labels because let me see that doesn't open in yeah that opens in Word but you know these are the six places to put stuff you know you got to sell it oh I got too much stuff in here well you throw away the bad stuff you sell the other your garage sale some you donate it store it and the others you keep so you can print these out put bin labels on a clear plastic bin and you help your sellers so those are the resource downloads that you can use you can use the search box if uh, if you're having a trouble with commission objections, you can do a search on commission. And these are all the videos you get. In fact, right here, this is one of my favorite videos. Um, mentor series number eight. Again, this goes back to our, you know, archive footage. Or not archive, but uh, what's the other word for that one? Old? Uh, I forgot. Classic. Classic. Anyway, mentor series number eight, commission objections. It's a 22-minute video. And uh, the role plays in here are so powerful that I really don't want to ever record them again. They were done so perfectly, so well. So uh, I play the role of the agent. Actors play the role of clients. It's non-scripted, non-rehearsed. <clears throat> and, and if you ever have a problem with commission objections, watch MSOA. Just get a cup of coffee and a notepad and take the 22 minutes to watch it. When you're done with that, you're going to look forward to your next commission objection. So these are the videos on commission for a workman. <clears throat> really one of the top speakers in America, great guy, and he does a presentation. He and I do some role plays on commission objections, which which I think you'll find helpful, etc. So I'm going to just pause and see, and by the way, the way to start over, if you click on Browse All Videos, it'll take you back to the list. I'm going to pause and see uh, what questions you guys might have. I don't have any questions. We're just we're following along with you. Um, I do have a success story on this though. Um, I have one of my agents that uh, had joined uh, our, our guy to the site, watched one video on uh, open houses, and um, when he got into looking at the video, he sent me an email thanking me for providing the videos to them, and uh, he said he's going to implement about three of the things that he learned in that one video. And uh, that was it at first. And then the next week, he replied back to me and said, hey, I, I wanted to let you know I did that, and I wind up picking up a potential buyer just off of using some of the ideas that came out of that one video. And he picked up a potential buyer for a $500,000 home, so it was easily a $15,000 check coming to him. Um, wow. He's, and since then, I've noticed um, how I can go in and see how many videos the agents have watched and stuff. I, I notice that he's really uh, watched a lot more videos, so he, he, he's enjoying it. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear it. And, uh, you know, my goal is to, for new agents, I'd like to have you have a transaction within 30 days of signing up. And then after that, I'd like you to sell a few million or more your first year. I mean, I, you know, why not? And... Uh, and the beauty of this training is you do get to hear other agents. In fact, this Lawrence Wong, let me, uh, uh, my mouse died. Lawrence Wong, here's a guy, you talk about the challenges. Lawrence Wong enters a real estate business. He's 24 years old. In 2009, when the market completely crashes, he's a Chinese-American in an Italian-American uh, neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. You put all those together and, and imagine the different challenges he might face. Well, the guy's one of the top. He made a half a million dollars in income last year, and just a great guy. You know, you're just proud of people like this in the business, and he's a hard worker. And um, so, yeah, watch Real Estate Live number 26, um, and I think there's some other stuff in, in here with Lawrence, but he does a great job. We're going to actually upload another one of his videos uh, later on. Um, trying to think, anything else I should show in the training? It's pretty simple. All you do is just log in and uh, do a search, pick a video, and off you go.
Can you um, can you show them how like we've been picking up a lot of new agents lately? Can you show how like the accountability uh, with the agents when they log in, how we have them set up on account uh, on, on watching some of the videos? Yeah, uh, your agents will be able to log in. I mean, I'm on your site, Chris, so I'm, oh. I haven't logged in as an agent, but they'll see a button up here that says Action Plans, and we have the Home Express Realty new agent, and I can preview it. And the, this is a new feature. We've been working on it since last summer, and we wanted to take our training to a level beyond just watching a video. I mean, that works. If you watch a video, you take notes, you implement it, great. But we thought, you know what? Success in this business is a combination of actual behaviors, what it is that you do every day. Uh, you know, we can do videos on weight loss all day long, but until you specifically get up, do 20 minutes of exercise, you know, eight glasses of water a day, fruits, you know, until you have a specific regimented behavioral plan, nothing happens in your life. So we added a section called tasks. And for a new agent, we started with the most fundamental complete your onboarding paperwork, take a professional photo. But having said that, here, here's a task for a new agent, take a professional photo. Um, in my seminar, I'd like to play a game, you know, get 200 people in the room, have everybody tear the photo off their business card, shuffle up, put it in a bowl, distribute it among uh, agents and see if any of them could get the card back to its rightful owner. <laughs> and with most photos, good luck probably 80% of you would have no idea who this person is. So for all of you, get a new photo. And uh, you know, order business cards, and then, uh, then we start making money. Introduction to prospecting, all the videos that I picked that I think are good for that. And there's a lot of videos there, and it's this is something that I would expect an agent might take you know, a month to get through that section of videos. But then, you know, the task, practice your prospecting questions, take floor time, um, Etc. So we put in videos and tasks, and then on the agent side, there's a place to report back actions. So Chris and or a manager can see, you know, listing sales appointments, you know, activities, things like that. So we've got videos and tasks, expired listings, selling my owner, geographic farming, legal fair housing. You got to know your legal stuff. Uh, working with buyers, pre-listing, seller counseling, the listing presentation itself, which is you know, the quintessential most important thing you'll ever do in your life in real estate is the listing presentation. And then CMA pricing, business planning, and by the way, business planning could actually be moved up to the first step if you wanted. Objections, negotiation as the final step. So um, if you get in and sign up for the action plan and go through and actually complete the tasks and write the notes and do the actions, uh, our idea behind that was to see if we couldn't get an agent to make, gosh, at least you know, 50 to 100 grand their first year in the business. And then if you want to take it up to 250,000 a year, we have a plan for that. In fact, Chris, you'll still have to clone that called Rising Star. And this is a plan for people who are, have maybe done 15, 18 transactions and would like to do 50 or 60. And I sat down with Bob Wolf, one of, again, one of the top realtors in America. And I said, Bob, let's design a plan to take somebody to some serious cash. And uh, so we picked some videos, we picked some tasks, and um, in fact, on that one, we also, I think, said just get a new photo. I've never seen an agent who couldn't use a new photo. Um, so this whole thing was designed to take somebody from 15 to 50 transactions a year using realistic tasks. Set up your schedule and time blocks, for example. Uh, one of the best ways to make money in the business is to schedule your prospecting in time blocks. Um, you you pick them, you know, Tuesday from 9 to 10, it doesn't matter. You pick a time that you think is appropriate, you schedule it, and then when you sit down and prospect, you turn off your mail so you don't see the little thing popping up and interrupting you. You sh turn off Facebook so you don't hear those stupid bells. You close your door, you turn off your phone. In fact, put your phone in another room, and unless you're using that phone to make your calls, and you sit down, you do 59 minutes of prospecting. You make 30, 40, 50 calls and you take notes on them all and then when you're done, take a breath, have a cup of coffee, reward yourself and then go into your CRM and implement all and input all the notes that you wrote on the people you called. But that's how you make money in the business if you have the discipline to time block and make your calls during that hour. If you just go, oh, I'm waiting, I'm just waiting till I get time, you'll be waiting till you're dead. So you make it happen. Anything else, Chris? I think we're good. I, I can talk. Uh, really just wanted to make sure that the agents know how to get into the system and, and do the videos. I think I, I personally sat down and watched all of them, but um, 
I think it's, it, 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 even if it's not just for the brand new agent, there's a lot of stuff in here that can refresh uh, seasoned agents as well. And um, oh, gosh. yeah, this is our top producer menu, and and most of this stuff would not apply to a new agent at all. It's way, way, way beyond a new agent. I, I don't even recommend new agents watch it yet. Uh, but we start off with some of the top agents in America and how they decided to hire their first assistant and how they build a team. Uh, we have Jack Cotton talk about uh, luxury real estate, systems, administrations. Uh, Bob Wolf talks about running it as a business. Uh, we do have some goal setting in here. That's, that actually could work for anybody. Uh, but yeah, we I set up a whole thing designed specific, specifically for somebody who's you know maybe at the hundred grand level and wants to take it up from there. So, and again, we've interviewed some of the top in realtors in America. In fact, if you go to featured agents, if you'd like the female version of Bob Wolf, you go to Kathy Kaler. Take a look at her videos. Here's a here's a lady and her daughter. These things. she's a mother daughter team. You get to watch them on listing presentations, see how they do it. It's pretty amazing. You watch these two ladies and go, oh my gosh, what, could I ever be that good? Well, the answer is the longest journey starts with a single step, so watch how the good people do it and then slowly but surely incorporate it into your presentation. Um, and I'm certainly open to just kind of talk about real estate, leads, listings, any anything that you're well, facing as a challenge. Three top agents videos to watch out of here. Who would you pick? Is somebody asking a question? If you were to pick three agents to watch their videos, who's would they be? I know you have a lot, but uh, uh, Bob Wills, Jack Cotton, and Kathy Keeler. Jack Cotton. Yeah, I don't have to think about that too much. <laughs> In fact, let me go back to featured agents see if I missed anybody. Yeah, Kathy Keeler, Bob Will, Jack Cotton. I mean, they're, they're icons in the industry. They are some of the, and by the way, they're not only successful, but they also have integrity. And Bob Wolf was selected to be Realtor of the Year last year. So uh, that's who I'd follow. In fact, if all you did was watch their videos, you'll, I, I could almost assure you would double your income this year. And hopefully quadruple, because uh, these people just rock it. The video I'm coming out with uh, right now, in fact, I'm going to shoot it after we're done here. Uh, KFT 98 is going to be event marketing, and I interviewed an agent who does marketing with uh, in neighborhoods. Um, he did a he did a he did a Halloween party, and he hired an In-N-Out Burger truck. In-N-Out is big in California. Cost him some money. Cost him ten grand to do it, but he gave out uh, In-N-Out burgers to everybody in the neighborhood. They collected between 150 and 200 names of people. They take photos at the event, and then they hand deliver the photos to the door. And it's a great way to connect with the market. They do car washes. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is get a, I don't know, 50-gallon drum of uh, Starbucks coffee, set up an easy up and do free coffee in the neighborhood. You know, just stuff like that to connect with the market. And, uh, and that, what else do they do? They did an Easter egg hunt. So event marketing is another way to connect with the market. And in general, my advice has been for all agents, you know, that people ask me, said, you know, when you go around the country, what is it that you see that the good agents are doing? And the good ones are meeting people face to face up front and following it up with technology. The bad agents start with technology and then never get face to face. So we all love our technology. I mean, there's no question about it, but the point of technology is to move things along and to make a connection. But the top agents I know are doing it face to face. You know, holding neighborhood parties, holding open houses, knocking on doors, knocking on expires, knocking on uh, for sale by owners, having an events for their customers and clients, getting on the telephone and calling people. Even Lawrence Wong gets off his butt and goes out and knocks on doors in his neighborhood. And uh, so technology, I'm going to use a phrase, I might get in trouble doing it, but I had a whole audience laughing their butt off the other day and I said, technology has become the customer condom of our times. <laughs> it is the barrier between us and our, and our customers. So, you know, get out from behind your laptop, get away from your computer, go out and actually talk to some people. It's amazing how much money you can make doing that. Then follow it up with technology. Then, you know, do all the email drip campaigns and texting and all that stuff. But you got to get face to face to people. That's where the money is. So if you're looking for the secret, that's the one I'm finding out there. What other challenges are you facing? I'm happy to do some Q and A. Any questions? Dealing with shady agents. <laughs> I couldn't hear. She said dealing with shady agents. 
Oh man, to the best of your ability, don't deal with them. If you have to and they're really doing something wrong and unethical, report them to your board immediately. Uh, well, actually, before you do that, report it to their manager. Maybe have Chris call their manager, broker, owner, and and uh, deal with that because that's just wrong. I mean, we have to police ourselves, and uh, if we don't, we're all going to get the bad reputation. So, but I think you have to confront them, avoid them, and the other way to deal with shady agents is for all of you to go out and prospect. You get all the listings, so they don't get any. That's easier said than done. But yeah, you got to report them. You can't let them get away with stuff like that. It's just wrong. When choosing a farm area, what are you looking for? What would be the criteria for choosing a farm? Yes. Uh, first thing would be where you already have a listing or two. For sure that. Just going into a farm area cold where they don't know you or the company, you know, you might as well just bang your head against all the doors. It's, it's, it's really hard. So I think you have to pick an area that where you examine the turnover. I mean, Americans move once every seven years on average. If you pick a neighborhood where they move once every 30, well, everybody knows you, but nobody moves. So it's got to be a place that turns over. It's got to be a place that's in a price range where the buyers, that it works. You know, a lot of people say, I'm going to go into the $9 million price range. Well, two homes sold in the last four years. Good luck with that. Well, so pick up. Turnover ratio, what, what is the percentage you're looking for? Well, I mean, American average is one in seven years, so what's that, 16%? So it's got to be an area where, you know, people are moving and buying and selling. Um, and that's part of just your market knowledge. You know some neighborhoods down there, nobody's moved since the 1900s, and some they're turning over all the time. Um, you also got to check what other realtor dominance is in there to see whether or not you can break that dominance. A lot of times agents who are dominant get complacent and make mistakes. Um, and then once you decide you're area. You've got to get one listing in there. Whatever it takes, get a listing in there. And once you get a listing, then then you can start working it because now you can do your just listed, just sold cards. Uh, these ladies that I interviewed in Florida, I mean, they are seasoned professionals listing $15 million homes. And I said, what are some of the things that you do for marketing? They said, just listed, just sold cards. You talk basic fundamental. I learned that in 1972 when I first got licensed. That was a technique that is old, old, old. And a lot of people say, oh, that's an old technique. <laughs> I don't think okay. it's the oldest the Bible. You know, at what point, oh, the Bible's old. I need a new book, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just listed, just sold cards. Now, just listed sold cards in a $50 million home are obviously very different than one in a lower price neighborhood. But um, then you can start doing event marketing. In fact, when you do an open house in a neighborhood that's your farm area, you get a listing, what you do is a private preview party for all the neighbors. I hear agents say, man, I don't like open houses. The nosy neighbors come. And I just want to slap them in the face and go, "Are you, seriously, did you really say that to me? You're in the real estate business. You want to meet people who own homes. You have people voluntarily walking into a home where you're standing and you don't want to talk to them? Idiot. <laughs> It's just, I'm sorry, I sometimes rant because I see so much incompetence out there, which you guys could make a ton of dough because there's so much incompetence out there. There's so many bad agents. It doesn't take a lot to be good. So rather than complaining about the nosy neighbors, invite them. Send out an invitation to everybody in the neighborhoods. Hey, we've got a brand new listing on the market. Before we show it to the public, we'd like to give you a personal, private opportunity to visit the home. We're going to have you know coffee and cookies from 10 to 1. The open house goes public from 1 to 4. And then when the people come into the open house, you gladly, generously meet them. Hey, and you dress up, you're in a suit and tie, you are flat rocketed, you got the lights on, drapes open, you make the home look beautiful, you have flyers, you have cards, you shake their hand and say, thank you so much for coming. Which home do you guys live in? Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful home. Well, what brings you here today? Well, you know, we're thinking about moving. We want to know the price of this. Isn't that nice? In fact, then here's a question I'll give you that you can ask every person you meet from this day forward. And you can drop it in the conversation. It sounds like a nice, friendly question, and here it is. How much longer do you guys plan to stay in your home? Imagine if you knew the answer to that question of every single human being you knew. How much longer do you plan to stay in your home? You know, some people say, hey, we're lifers are going to carry me on a box. Others are, but you should ask. Tom just got a, a notice we're being transferred to Dallas and, and everything in between. Well, we're going to be here until our kids go to high school, kids go to college. When's that going to be? Great. What are you going to do? Upsize, downsize. And now you start building your database of people, you know, names, addresses, phone numbers, and their approximate time they're planning on moving. 
Um, then in this neighborhood, that's when you do the, the event marketing, you know, whatever, Easter egg hunt, free coffee, free hot dogs. I mean, there's some less expensive ways to do it. And um, the guy I was talking to does three touches. He First, he, I think he, he mails an invitation the first time. He knocks on the door the second time. And then I think he does a delivery the third time. I have to go back and look at this video. But anyway, and he invites the people. Oh, the other key to a, a neighborhood event is invite the kids. Because guess who the kids bring? So uh, they bring their parents. And then the other key part of his event, I don't even think he understands how powerful this is. He hires a professional photographer and he takes pictures of everybody at the event. And when you're taking pictures of kids, obviously you want to make sure that you have the parents' permission. And um, and then they get all these high-grade pictures. They have them printed and they hand deliver them back to the neighbors. What a great excuse for knocking on the door. Hey, we got a, got a picture of your little girl on the Easter Bunny lap. Here she is. What's her name? Carrie. Well, here she is. You know, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that gets in touch with people. Having some mobile app where you hide behind your phone and clicking and texting. I mean, come on. That's not where the money is. Uh, the money is seeing people face to face. And my other suggestion to you is you call every human being in your database and call them up and just say, hello, how's it going? Haven't talked to you guys in a while. Build some rapport. And then here's a question you want to ask. It's out of RL01, Real Estate Live number one. And that is, hey, of all of your friends, who do you think would be the next one to make a move? It replaces the bad question that doesn't work called, do you know if anybody is moving? And to the answer is no. Instead of the closed question, hey, do you know if anybody's thinking of moving? So of all of your friends, who do you think would be the next one to make a move? It's a time-based question. And um, had my realtor called me up after she sold my home in Eden Prairie and said, who do you think is going to be next to move? I go, oh, right next door, Nikki Pugliese. Uh, her two girls, her girl and boy, are off to college, and I think she's going to sell this fall. And by the way, Stephanie Siegel across the street called me and said, hey, what would I have to do to my kitchen if I were to sell? So call both of those people. I think they might be next. True story. Both of them listed. Both of them sold. Both of them moved. Heidi, my realtor, got zero. Zero. Because uh, she never called me and asked for the referral. And I was too busy to call her. And by the way, all your customers and clients are too busy to call you. Half of them can't remember your gender, much less your name. So... Get on the phone and call them. I actually did that once. I was doing person on the street interviews. I said, hey, did you buy a home? Yes, for a realtor? Yes. How would you rate the services? Great. Who was it? And I remember one lady said, uh, oh, gosh, who was he with, honey? He said, no, honey, I think it was a lady. A lady? I thought it was a guy. <laughs> so they don't. They don't. So um, ask everybody how much longer you plan to stay in your home. Of all your friends, who do you think would be the next to make a move? Anything else I can help you with? I got time if you do. Chris, anything else? Anybody? I think that's it. I think we're uh, we've got the gist of it, and that'll uh, get us something to give to the agents, and we can start using it, utilizing it as a good tool for the office. Yeah, I think it works well in group meetings, and then afterwards, uh, if you really want to have some. Uh, skill improvement, do what I call I practice, small I, capital P, where you, video, you do a role play with three people. Uh, one holds the iPhone or the iPad, the other two do a role play for four minutes. You videotape it, stop it, play it back, critique it, and then let the other two people do it. I will guarantee you, you will double your closing ratio on people within literally 10 minutes, right away. You will double your effectiveness with people after seeing yourself on video right away. It's the most powerful thing you'll ever do. First time it's all giggly and scary and you're all nervous and get through that. And then get on to the professional objective viewpoint of like, oh, wow, I see what I did. I should improve that. I like this. I didn't like that. But that'll be the best advice I'll give you. There's nothing better than have, seeing yourself on video in a, in a semi-realistic role play. So please do that. And uh, it's powerful. In fact, actually, there's a video in here called I Practice, and you can search for that, and it shows how I did it with a group of people, and uh, shows how you can do it as well. I heard a uh, lady ask a question. Um, yes, I started to say, and it goes way back, because I, I got into this after 10 years, so I, I just don't recall. But, you know, when you have a husband and wife, and both of them are not there, I realize that they're always going to say, well, I'm going to have to talk to my spouse. What is the best, I mean, there's a little phrase you use, and I've forgotten what it is, 
um, to where you can make sure that you've got both of them together. What is that phrase? What is a good tactful way to, to Well, say it's that? a good question because from a, both a practical and legal standpoint, you have to have both spouses there, but you always run the risk of sounding like you're, you know, being pejorative to them. Say, well, I'm, is, your, is the little lady of the house going to be home? You know, it can come across <laughs> the wrong way. But, uh, but I just say, you know, uh, I'd be happy to do a presentation and, you know, I prefer to do it, you know, with all owners. Who, so who are, are both of you entitled? And I would like to present to both of you. I, and uh, and if you get to the home and only one spouse is there, um, I might do the tour in the interview, but I would not do the listing presentation. It, it, what's the point? You, you, they can't sign it anyway. So I would just say, you know, I prefer to do a presentation of both of you. And if the other can't be available, I might set up a Skype or a Google Hangout and do it that way. Seriously, you've got to. Have, if, if they are both going to sign the documents, they both need to be in the presentation. This is true on showings, listings, you name it. And uh, the other question I might ask is, I, if you can only get with one of the spouses, just say, look, I really prefer to speak to both of you because obviously you, it's a jointly owned home. You both make the decision. Um, and if they say no, 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 my, you know, my my spouse is happy with me making it <laughs> always. Uh, but then they go, well, no, I guess I better talk to him or her. So that's a tough one, and sometimes they do it on purpose to to have an excuse to not commit to you. Yes. Um, yeah. You're yeah. gonna have to meet them both anyway. I, I think it was me. I just say, you know what? Let's reschedule. Well, David, I want you. Um, I like that. Thank you. Welcome. I'll let you wrap it up, and, and uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to, to do this for us. I think it was a great presentation, and um, I, I think everybody you know, can, can really pick up a lot of good information from these videos. I've spent a few hours myself, like I, like I told you, looking at these. Me and you have uh, touched base a few times on the phone. I definitely appreciate you taking the time for it, and uh, this is definitely going to be a good tool for our office. So. I'll let you close it out for us, and, and I'll let you have a, uh, a great finish of the week and a great weekend coming up. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate your business, and uh, anybody who's a member of our training, uh, we consider our you know our favorite people, so we take good care of you. And um, so if you have any questions, call. And by the way, uh, KFT17 is called Answer the Blanking Phone. One of the things you'll find is that we actually do answer our phones. So if you're looking for you know immediate help, give us a call. We'll take care of you. If you got a video that doesn't play or something like that, let us know. And in terms of watching the videos, you know, if all you did was take 8, 10, 12 minutes a morning, you know, just get on your iPhone, iPad, click play, and just listen to the soundtrack for eight or ten minutes in the morning. Um, you're just gonna your brain's gonna be filled with something better. So I encourage you to do that. And uh, thank you guys very much. I appreciate your visit. You're awesome. We wow. really appreciate you. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Hey, thanks very much. I'm going to hit quit and let you guys go. Okay. Have a good day now. All right. See you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye.